Hello Internet, Sam Scheller from EMS Field Training and today we're talking about video laryngoscopy with the Clearview Video Laryngoscope. First of all, shout out to the team over at Life Assist for sending me this box with the Clearview Video Laryngoscope. Life Assist is where I buy all of my EMS supplies. They're a great company, they have awesome customer support, and without them, we wouldn't be able to run our EMS agency. Before we get into the box, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Now, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So the Clearview Video Laryngoscope comes inside a cool metal case. See here, the Infinum Clearview Video Laryngoscope. Opening up the box, we've got a USB charger, charges via USB. We've got different size blades, so we've got a Mac 2, a Mac 1, a Mac 3, a Mac 4, and a Mac 5 blade. And then here it is, the Clearview Video Laryngoscope. So why should you be using a video laryngoscope versus a manual one? The reason is because your chance of first pass innovation will be much higher with a video laryngoscope compared to a manual laryngoscope. By using a video laryngoscope, it puts the camera above the epiglottis. This is important for people who would be considered difficult innovation. Obese people, patient with a high malin potty, these are individuals that may be very difficult to innovate. By using a video laryngoscope, you can ensure that your first time pass rate will be much higher. With a manual laryngoscope, your eyes are much farther away from the glottic opening. This means that you must manipulate the airway a little bit more when using a manual laryngoscope. The downfall of this is it can lead to trauma. So the EMS agency I work for, we have decided to go with the Clearview video laryngoscope. And why do we do so? Well, first of all, it's very comparable to other video laryngoscopes, such as the McGrath or the CMAC, at a much lower price point. Secondly, the Clearview video laryngoscope uses similar movements compared to a manual laryngoscope. It feels much more natural to those of us who have been innovating for a long time. Third, this is a one-size-fits-all device. You can buy different size blades for adults, children, and infants, and you only have one handle that you need to be responsible for. Lastly, my favorite feature of the Clearview Video Laryngoscope is that it records your innovation. If you have a difficult airway and you need to prove that you got the tube, you can go ahead and enable the recording feature and take both a video and a photo of the innovation. And depending on your EPCR vendor, you can go ahead and upload the photo or video into your EPCR. The agency I work for, we use ImageTrend. All we need to do is use an adapter for the iPad and the Clearview plugs right into the iPad and you can upload the media from your innovation attempt. This is important so you can document to verification. Now there are some downsides when it comes to video laryngoscopy. The first probably most prevalent issue with agencies getting into a video laryngoscope is the price. The Clearview itself is much more expensive than a manual laryngoscope. The second issue I have with the Clearview Video Laryngoscope are the batteries. This uses a rechargeable battery. Now, according to the manufacturer, the battery shelf life is about five months. However, if you forget to charge your batteries every five months or after heavy usage, you may not be able to use your Clearview Video Laryngoscope. Now, my initial thought was that the device would still work if connected to a wall outlet or USB battery charger. However, this is not the case. The device just shows charging and continues to charge. So final thoughts on the Clearview Video Laryngoscope. If your agency is not using video laryngoscopy, your agency should be making that consideration to switch to a video laryngoscope. The Clearview itself is a great device that I would highly recommend for any agency looking to get into video laryngoscopy. Let me know in the comments below what you're using or what your agency is looking to switch to.